Is there a difference between equals equals and is? My Google Foo has failed me. In Python, are the following two tests for quality equivalent? Does this hold true for objects where you would be comparing instances, a list A? Okay, so this kind of answers my question. So equals equals test value where is test to see if they are the same object? Is will return true if two variables point to the same object, in memory, equals equals if the objects referred to by the variables are equal? In your case, the second test only works because Python caches small integer objects, which is an implementation detail. For larger integers, this does not work. The same holds true for string literals. Please see this question as well. There is a simple rule of thumb to tell you when to use equals equals or is. Equals equals is for value equality. Use it when you would like to know if two objects have the same value. Is is for reference equality. Use it when you would like to know if two references refer to the same object. In general, when you are comparing something to a simple type, you are usually checking for value equality, so you should use equals equals. For example, the intention of your example is probably to check whether x has a value equal to 2, equals equals, not whether x is literally referring to the same object as 2. Something else to note, because of the way the Python reference implementation works, you'll get unexpected and inconsistent results if you mistakenly use to compare for reference equality on integers. That's pretty much what we expected, A and B have the same value, but are distinct entities. But what about this? This is inconsistent with the earlier result. What's going on here? It turns out the reference implementation of Python caches integer objects in the range minus 5, 256 as singleton instances for performance reasons. Here's an example demonstrating this. This is another obvious reason not to use is, the behavior is left up to implementations when you're erroneously using it for value equality. Is there a difference between equals equals and is in Python? Yes, they have a very important difference. Equals equals, check for equality, the semantics of that equivalent objects, that aren't necessarily the same object, will test as equal. As the documentation says. The operators less than greater than equals equals, greater than equals, less than equals, and not equal compare the values of two objects. Is, check for identity. The semantics are that the object, as held in memory, is the object. Again, the documentation says. The operators is and, is not, test for object identity, x is y, is true if and only if x and y are the same object. Object identity is determined using the id, function. x is not y, yields the inverse truth value. Thus. The check for identity is the same as checking for the equality of the IDs of the objects. That is. Is the same as.
where ID is the built-in function that returns an integer that is guaranteed to be unique among simultaneously existing objects, see help ID, and where A and B are any arbitrary objects. Other usage directions. You should use these comparisons for their semantics. Use is to check identity and equals equals to check equality. So in general, we use is to check for identity. This is usually useful when we are checking for an object that should only exist once in memory, referred to as a singleton in the documentation. Use cases for is include. None. Enum values, when using enums from the enum module usually modules. Usually class objects resulting from class definitions. Usually function objects resulting from function definitions. Anything else that should only exist once in memory, all singletons, generally a specific object that you want by identity. Usual use cases for equals equals include. Numbers, including integers. Strings. Lists. Sets. Dictionaries. Custom mutable objects. Other built-in immutable objects, in most cases. The general use case, again, for equals equals, is the object you want may not be the same object, instead it may be an equivalent one. PEP 8 Directions PEP 8, the official Python style guide for the standard library also mentions two use cases for is. Comparisons to singletons like none should always be done with is or, is not, never the equality operators. Also, beware of writing, if x, when you really mean, if x is not none, for example when testing whether a variable or argument that defaults to none was set to some other value. The other value might have a type, such as a container, that could be false in a boolean context. Inferring equality from identity. If is is true, equality can usually be inferred, Logically, if an object is itself, then it should test as equivalent to itself. In most cases this logic is true, but it relies on the implementation of the underscore eq underscore special method. As the docs say, the default behavior for equality comparison, equals equals and not equal, is based on the identity of the objects. Hence, Equality comparison of instances with the same identity results in equality, and equality comparison of instances with different identities results in inequality. A motivation for this default behavior is the desire that all objects should be reflexive, i.e. x is y implies x equals equals y. And in the interest of consistency, recommends. Equality comparison should be reflexive. In other words, identical objects should compare equal. X is Y, implies, X equals equals Y. We can see that this is the default behavior for custom objects. The contrapositive is also usually true, if something's test is not equal, you can usually infer that they are not the same object. Since tests for equality can be customized, this inference does not always hold true for all types. An exception. A notable exception is NAN, it always tests as not equal to itself. Checking for identity can be much a much quicker check than checking for equality, which might require recursively checking members. But it cannot be substituted for equality, where you may find more than one object as equivalent. Note that comparing equality of lists and tuples will assume that identity of objects are equal, because this is a fast check. This can create contradictions if the logic is inconsistent, as it is for NAN. A cautionary tale. The question is attempting to use is to compare integers. You shouldn't assume that an instance of an integer is the same instance as one obtained by another reference. 
This story explains why. A commenter had code that relied on the fact that small integers, minus 5 to 256 inclusive, are singletons in Python, instead of checking for equality. Wow, this can lead to some insidious bugs. I had some code that checked if A is B, which worked as I wanted because A and B are typically small numbers. The bug only happened today, after six months in production, because A and B were finally large enough to not be cached. Goog. It worked in development. It may have passed some unitists. And it worked in production, until the code checked for an integer larger than 256, at which point it failed in production. This is a production failure that could have been caught in code review or possibly with a style checker. Let me emphasize, do not use is to compare integers. Equals equals determines if the values are equal, while is determines if they are the exact same object.